Welcome to the Top 10 Garden Show with Ken Lane. Listen to Ken's tips, tricks, and garden shortcuts guaranteed to make your gardens more beautiful than ever this year. Now welcome your host, Ken Lane. So the 2024 seed are here, the fresh seeds. Something you need to watch. So if you're buying seed, either on the net or at a store or wherever, you really want to take a look at the date. So in the state of Arizona, we have to test seed to make sure their germination rate, they're, they're going to, when you put them in the ground, they're going to take off. Uh, there's got to be certain specs. So they're well into the 90s percent level. So there's no duds in the seed. And then there's different grades of seed. They actually have computers. AI is, is lasers are checking the size of the seed. And they actually grade them. There's, there's grade A, grade B, and there's kind of leftover stuff. That's the 10 for a dollar packages down over there. Um, they sweep them off the floor and kind of, yeah, let's put them in a package, see if we can get rid of them. So you kind of want to check. But the main thing, the number one thing for my friends, you should check the date to make sure they're not left over from last year. They need to be tested. In fact, in Arizona, they need to be tested within nine months of selling them. And there's special seed licenses we got to jump through. There's just... There's so th we're trying to ensure not just anyone can sell seed because you get all these hokey, you get some bad stuff out there. If you're going to spend time on lima beans or zucchinis or zinnias or pansies, cauliflower, um, make sure you're going to get a good seed that's not going to dud. So just check the date on the back of all of our seed packages. It's got a date when it was tested and it's for this year. So all of them are very, very fresh. All the old ones we threw away, we donated, we gave, we just got rid of them. They aren't worth having. And so they're all fresh. So check that. So we're into this new year where it's going to carry over. You got last year's and this year's, and you'll be out there buying going, oh my gosh, uh, why didn't these come up? It's because they were old seed. There's a vitality to them. I know you find, you know, 5,000 year old Egyptian tomb found seed and it germinated. You know, that's freakishly rare. That's, that's, yeah, they had a hundred seed and one came up. You, if you're going to take the energy and the time, you want them all to come up. In fact, on the back of our seed package, it tells you how many days before you can start planting it, how many days of germination. So it'll take three, it'll take three weeks to germinate the seed. On the inside, you open the package, it tells you how to plant it. So we've got seed packages that are really trying to help you be better gardeners. That and January. Is, a, is the houseplant. We just bulked up on houseplants. So we're starting to bring things in. So if you feel this void in your, in your, in your cavernous type of living room, you got 12 foot ceilings and the Christmas tree's gone and it doesn't feel the same, put a houseplant. There's lots of choices now, big ones, small ones, trailing ones, upright ones, blooming ones. It's a good, good time to plant, to use houseplants. And then, uh, the coming classes. So every Saturday at 9.30, I'll just plug the classes. They're free. We want you to be better gardeners. And quite honestly, I don't have the ad budget that Depot and Lowe's and Walmart does. So this is, I've got personality. I've got expertise. I've got a staff that's unbelievable. I know how to, I got better plants. And we're we're giving that advice. So, I mean, honestly, it's, it's a marketing ploy. We want you to come and learn how to garden. And so when that, that garden trigger goes off, you're going, I want to garden this weekend. You go, you're just already going to Waters Garden Center because we've already taught you a couple of things. And you've been inspired by a few of the plants and you see a pretty blue pot and you just kind of, you just know where you want to go. So we want to be your garden center when it finally takes off. So it's, it's marketing. It's just good community service. One of our goals is to make our, our our community more beautiful. That's actually a core value. We're not just selling plants. We want you to be successful and inspire your neighbors to do the same so that your neighborhood just looks better, more beautiful, more fragrant. We just want to be out there on the patio enjoying a, a sunset when it's warm enough. <laughs> so throughout the week, Lisa and I camp out here at Waters Garden Center, and we truly enjoy talking to friends here at the Garden Center. Come visit. Not everyone can grow wildflowers, but we'll make sure you're not one of them. At Waters, we know which wildflowers sprout, thrive, and bloom with success. We're wild about wildflowers with many of our own Arizona blends. Like our Arizona native mix, butterfly and hummingbird mixes, and all are big, bold, and beautiful. At Waters, we know wildflowers, and winter's a season to spread new seed. Waters Garden Center, where people who love their flowers wild, they love to shop for seed.
You're listening to garden expert, Ken Lane. He can be found throughout the week at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Thanks for tuning in to the Top 10 Garden Show. 